There are people on the internet who create things that go viral and become huge memes and earn them millions and millions of followers. And then there are people on the internet who create things that don't do any of that. But they keep on plugging away and they keep on creating the things that they want to create and they put them out there for anybody who may just happen to find them and decide that they like them. And they don't need the entire world's attention, they just need the people who are on the same wavelength as them. So today I want to talk about one of these people. Uh, somebody who I've been following since I was in middle school, who I don't think has ever gotten the attention they really deserved. Uh, they've been creating for over 10 years now and uh, they've just always been one of my favorites. So today, I wanna to tell the story of John Comics. Now, John Comics, as the name might suggest, is a webcomic creator, and he's been active since uh, around 2009, as far as I can figure. And odds are, if you're a regular internet user, you've probably seen something he's done around, you know, some of his comics have gotten popular, or they've spawned memes or reaction pictures that, you know, became pretty popular, but John himself uh, has never gotten a lot of attention for what he does, and I, I think that's pretty unfair. At the time of writing, his biggest following is on Instagram, where he has 13.7 thousand followers, which is not a small number, but, you know, given how long he's been doing it and comparing that with other creators out there, um, you know, it, it, it's relatively not a lot. His relative obscurity has made it difficult to track his history, although I was not able to view his funny junk profile, which may have more information, but we'll get to that later. Now, John has what you might call a distinctive style. This sort of crappy MS Paint comic isn't completely unique to John, obviously, but uh, he is a master of it. Um, which just makes sense given how long he's been doing it. I mean, his humor is just that perfect mix of stupid and unexpected to make it go so well with this like childish, simplistic art style. Uh, and it gives it that perfect meme potential. And frankly, some of his comics are just absolute classics. The best source for John's history that I've found is his website, where according to his bio, he's been drawing since the age of five, but his skill never increased past the age of eight, which, you know, really, I couldn't tell. But uh, still, he liked making comics, and he saw other creators with simplistic art styles achieving success, so he decided to start putting his work out there too. Now, according to his bio, John started out by posting his uh, comics in the Explosum.net forums to get feedback and to get them out there, uh, but I remember actually seeing him for the first time on Funny Junk. Now, for you kids, Funny Junk is basically like iFunny, except it was never as popular as that. Uh, but it was where I spent most of my middle school years when everybody else was entering puberty. I was really into John's comics. Uh, like I say, they were stupid, but in such an unexpected way that I could never just help but laugh. Uh, it wasn't your typical meme comic humor where like somebody will make like a sarcastic remark and then the last panel is everybody rolling their eyes. There was something more earnest about his desire to make you laugh and you know, actually make something funny and not just shareable. You can tell that this guy wants you to crap your pants laughing every time he puts out a comic, and he's not always successful, but you can always tell that the effort is there, and that's something I really appreciate. It was frustrating to have to wait longer periods for his stuff than for other comics, uh, you know, especially because daily updates or every other day updates were becoming a lot more common at this time, but it still brightened my day every time that he would put out a comic. Unfortunately, it seems that John's slow update pace was not entirely due to his putting tons of effort into every comic. I mean, that kind of seems like it should be obvious, but yeah. Um, in 2012, he stopped posting, returned briefly in 2013, and then disappeared once more. I always wondered why he'd stop posting stuff. It happened really suddenly and sort of randomly, but I figured he just got bored of it and he wasn't getting tons of attention for it anyway, so, you know, it made sense. Um, but sadly, it seems like that wasn't entirely the case. According to his bio, John stopped posting at this time because he had just dropped out of college and he had to move somewhere without any internet. Uh, I guess maybe John is actually Amish or something, I don't know, but it seems like the sudden pressure of adult life just screwed him up too badly to continue making comics. He apparently was working a physical labor job and his general unhappiness and lack of future prospects prevented him from being creative. As he says on his website, he was not too tired to draw, 
but too tired to think of things to draw. He'd pull out his drawing tablet, and nothing would appear on the screen. Fortunately, the story does have a happy ending. According to the bio, John had a weird moment of clarity while watching Monsters University, classic John, and he decided to go back to school for something that he was more interested in. He apparently now works a job that he enjoys, and in 2018, he returned to making comics. Uh, I'm writing this script on January 1st, 2020. John's latest comic was published just yesterday for the new year. Though still by no means the biggest creator out there, John seems to be in a much happier and more fulfilled place in his life, and like he just wants to create comics that he enjoys, and that his small but dedicated fan base enjoy too. The simple catchphrase he has as his site heading sums it all up. Crappy art with heart. Like I said, I think it's stories like John's that make the internet the amazing place that it is. I mean, the fact that I started seeing this guy's comics in 2009, and still remember and care and follow him today, it says something. I don't really know what, but something. And it just goes to show that if you have something you want to create, there's never been a better time to do it. But if you genuinely want to make it, just do it. Because you may not change the entire world, but you may change at least one life. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you, John. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make, and uh, I hope that if you enjoyed it, you will click those like and subscribe buttons. We're going to have a lot more videos coming out soon, so I hope you'll stick around for those. Thank you once again, and have a wonderful day.